morning everyone um beautiful day Se 2nd of september sun's out um i thought i'd um, just do a bit of an extended film today and show you how we're getting on the delphinium has grown look at that i'm six foot four that's uh so that's what six foot seven foot tall no that thing it's crazy <laughs> um, we put a pile of wild seeds out earlier in the season and they've grown really well and the varieties are amazing there's a lot of lovely cornflower and some different coloured poppies and the smell is beautiful and in the daytime and evenings the bees are buzzing with it so this summer we've put up a hammock and some prayer flags and a nice one Simba. The vegetable garden's done pretty well really, it's been a good year. Courgettes have been crazy busy, I've had so many courgettes it's untrue. And then there's the, in here. Oh, they're all picked, they're acorn squash. They've done really well as well. There's a few to come still by looks of it, but not quite ready yet and set. A good crop of parsley, borage, Swiss chard. Uh, okay, I can always forget what that stuff's called in Caballero Nero or something. It's, these are big radish, big chunky radish. There's a few lettuce and a bit of rocket, some blue, blue cabbage. Get off there. Go on, choosh. Carrots, another different parsley. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What's that? Can't remember what that is. Beans, loads of beans. Tomatoes. It's gone a bit wild, but we've got a decent crop of tomatoes. But because this, it's been a crappy summer and um, things haven't, um, the tomatoes are a bit late in ripening. We had a really good crop of cucumbers. That'll be one we'll do next year again. They did really well. And loads and loads of little frogs in the pond. I put a, front, a pond in the back end of this greenhouse because I thought it'd be nice to um, have somewhere for the little frogs to live, but also it acts as a bit of a heat sump in the winter. It's on the north side of the shed of the greenhouse. So it's the north end of it. Not that it makes a massive amount of difference, but... Um, yeah, it's, it works quite well. It just keeps the frost out a bit. Oh, it's an amazing day. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, those little forest is growing quite well. There's a lot of apple trees and bits and bobs in there. His little orchard. We planted that when he was born, so that's three years old now, those trees. They're just beginning to set. That one's done really well. That's a plum. Let's cut the grass today. And up in the back there, on the willow, I'm going to harvest a bit of that later on, start using that. There's tons and tons of it. And this is where we've got the solar panels and the unit that stores the power. I mean, this is like crazy tomato world. It's a little bit planted for a bit later, but they're already starting to fruit. We've pretty much cropped all of the um, strawberries. And then there's some stuff to move. In fact, it's getting a bit late to move it. I've got to get the brussels out and things like that. There's some rocket, there's some basil, some peas, some more radish and 
that side there is a bit of a disaster so that's got to be rethought in fact the whole thing needs rethinking so we can kind of use the space a bit better and then we've got here um, some peas and These are radish. No, these are the. I think these are baby beetroots. Um, lettuce and peas and what else is there in there? Yeah, there is some radish. Seems to have an awful lot of radish. But I suppose you can't have too much radish. Over in the corner there, there's a pile of sheep's wool, which works really well as a slow fertiliser. We put, put the beds onto it last year and it rots down over the season. And this seems to be quite useful to do, oh, because you can't... Oh. And this is all gone, this is just wild yet. But the plan next season is to put potatoes in there and then the pigs are in the other side. There's some geese. <laughs> Chatting away. Um, just, the season is just turning. You can just see a hawthorn tree over there, the berries are ready. And I noticed the other day that the leaves on the trees are just beginning to turn. Look in the background there, you can just see the, the change in the landscape. Oh, you must need the plants. So I think September, the next few weeks, will be just about finished for the year. Um, start to put all the produce away and get it all canned and ready for winter and then batten down the hatches a bit there's a lot of apples to pick these apple trees have done really well this year they've, they've had a good crop and they're really tasty apples these are gorgeous a lot of these other apple trees like this one we um we only put them in this year, and they were really cheap. They were like three quid each, I think. And they've done really well. Probably a bit too close together. I have to move them about. That's a mulberry tree. And then... <coughs> wait a minute. Put a path in for the simple reason that in the winter time it's always getting muddy. And, uh, it's been quite good. Worked out quite well. There's been a bit of work been going on with a great big beech tree that came down, so I've been cutting that. So I've been putting some beams together. Just using the chainsaw, it's it's not perfect straight lines, but it's because it tends to take the contour a little bit of the wood, but it'll be functional. The beefy piece, pieces of wood. Um, so, oh, there's a deer. I oh, can't see it, it's just gone. Hello, ducks and geese. Hello. There's another beam there, and all this wood here is getting chopped and ready. In fact, there's a ton of wood to do over there for the winter. All this stuff's got to be chopped up. There's a lovely big long beam there. That's, that's going to be a nice piece of wood. Get you straight. Ah. <laughs> ah. There's a big tidy up job to do up here. So it's looking like it's a complete and utter tip at the moment. So the plan is to... Um, hello, Ducky McDuck. 
This is Ducky Nut Duck Face. Hello. Come on, you need to do your water. It's time. Chickens. Hang on. Some new chickens off Sam and Becky. This has just settled in really well. Yeah, so. Over there is a plan to put a base. Well, there already is a base, it's just a huge pile of rocks that from a piece of building that must have come down years ago. Um, put something in into that space maybe. Hello. We've got to get some food today. We keep the food in the freezer. So it's not not the um it just in, it just, that, it just keeps the wet the mice and the rats off. There. Hey gather bits of wood all the time. And it comes up here, it gets dried off a bit and then chopped up as firewood mostly, but quite a lot of it is used for um, for jobs as well. Things like that. This area here, I'm going to put a big concrete base down on it so we can move in and out with the vehicles a bit easier and put the, put the sawmill in when we need it. Right, last of all, pigs, and then I'll come back and do the water. Okay. Day today. There's little sticks ready for chip, chopping up now and putting into the wood pack. We'll just that. We'll have a bonfire later on. Over there. And then one of the jobs today is to really get going on the wood stack ready for winter sort it out and get the, get the ready wood ready and the storage wood put aside. Hello pigs. Morning. What are you doing? Ready? Right, I'm going to get you more food later on today. So they have about four kilos each a day. I don't want them to get too fat because I want to breed off them later on in the season. But they're doing pretty well, those old porkers. Hey. I should imagine they're about 120 kilos. Good day. Let's us.